47. I'm thinking about this, but I don't think I think about it in the right way. Because I know when you're at equivalence point, you're supposed to think about conjugates, right? Yeah. Well, first of all, you can just memorize the answer. Um, let's say that you're at the equivalence point of a strong acid and a strong base. Seven. Yeah, that makes sense, right? They're equally strong. You've added equal amounts, so you should end up neutral. All right, now let's say that we have a strong acid and a weak base, and we're at the equivalence point. A strong acid could have a weak conjugate base, right? Well, yeah, but let's not even think about that. Let's just think about the intuition here. We've added equal amounts of acid and base, but which one's stronger? The acid. This acid. So do you think we should end up with an acidic or basic pH? Acidic. So that would need a pH less than 7. So you can just memorize that. I think it's pretty easy to remember. It's kind of intuitive that if you combine equal amounts of acid and base, but the acid is stronger, you should end up with an acidic solution. What, what's, how, just quick, can you just quickly say how to think about it in terms of the conjugate? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, that would be easier if we look at, say, a weak acid and a strong base. Um, what would be the pH at the equivalence point here? Greater than 7. And again, that should be easy to memorize. It's kind of intuitive that if you combine equal amounts of acid and base, the base will win if it's stronger. But that's what we just did here, right? I guess it gets tricky when it's like a week and a week. Yeah. That was the one you'll never see. Oh, Remember we exactly. said you'll never have a titration of a weak acid and an unrelated weak oh, okay. base. The only thing you would see is you could see a weak acid and its weak conjugate. That's a totally different situation. That's when we use the henderson hasselbach equation. Okay. That's not a titration. You're not going to titrate a weak acid with an unrelated weak base. Okay. That's not something that's going to come out. So the only cases that you need to know about are of um, equivalence points are strong and strong, strong and weak, and weak and strong. Now, um, this case here, a weak acid and a strong base, that's what we just did, right? That was our formic um, acid example here, a weak acid and a strong base, and we went to the equivalence point. So let's see what happened to the pH. We went to the equivalence point, so we converted all of the weak acid into, into weak base. Yeah. And that explains why, in that case, we ended up with a basic solution. We started with weak acid, but it was completely converted into weak base. And then that weak base gave us a basic solution. Okay. That explains why when you um, titrate a weak acid and a strong base, you're going to end up basic. Um, the strong base will completely disappear, because it's going to completely um, react. And it's going to turn the weak acid into an equal amount of its weak conjugate base. And then the weak conjugate base will go through this reaction and make the solution basic, producing hydroxide ions. In so that's the explanation for the rules that we were just memorizing a second ago. Um, the top reaction, you have weak acid, strong base, and you make water and base and conjugate base. Is the water kind of acting as an acid or no? Well, let's see. Um, so in this reaction, we have this weak acid, and this is its conjugate base. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have this strong base. And after it gains a proton, it looks like water. So the water is the conjugate acid of the hydroxide. That's not, I don't think that's too important for solving the problem. But the, the water here is the conjugate acid of this base. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There's a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos dot htm or you can just use the link in the info box thank you